Hello everyone, I'm Paul Micklewire Grimes. If you need a good scare, go see The Invisible Man. It's now in theaters, and I want to talk about it. This is Paul's trip to the movies. Elizabeth Moss leads the remake as Cecilia, who barely escapes the clutches of her abusive boyfriend. Two weeks later, he is found dead of an apparent suicide. But the nightmares don't stop for Cecilia, who believes he is still haunting her. The film also stars Aldous Hodge as her good friend who takes her in after she escapes. Now, as you can guess, this is a modern-day remake of the 1933 Universal Pictures monster flick of the same name with Claude Rains. Both films, of course, are adapted from the H.G. Wells novel. Now, the latest incarnation comes from the mind of writer-director Lee Wannell, who wrote many of the Saw and Insidious movies. The Invisible Man is more of a psychological horror than the torture porn that was Saw. Wannell clearly knows his ways around creating scares, and does it effectively here. Now, for the most part, he utilizes practical effects and jump scares in the vein of Are You Alone in the House and the Things That Go Bump in the Night style of scares. Now, they may seem like old tricks, but Wannell still makes them unpredictable. I jumped multiple times, even though I was peeking around the corners of the frame looking for those surprises. I couldn't help but think that Wannell was making some modern-day statements as well in the era of the hashtag MeToo movement with how Cecilia talks about the abusive mind games her ex put her through. He's ultra-controlling, and her sense of fear over her abuser is what drives the movie. He is the rich, white male, a young entrepreneur who specializes in optics and believes that he's unstoppable in his conquests. Now, Emmy winner Elizabeth Moss gives a tour de force as Cecilia, who really descends into the state of frenzy and madness. She channels the likes of Tony Collette in Hereditary and Linda Hamilton in Terminator 2. The film needed someone of her caliber and power to get the audience to believe Cecilia. The Invisible Man kicks off with an exhilarating race against time as Cecilia executes her carefully planned exit from her ex's compound. It then becomes this twisty and suspenseful ride as the audience tries to figure out what is happening to her. Now, do you take the practical, realistic route that she's mentally not present, or do you go the paranormal route uh, and believe that her ex is a ghost that's haunting her? Now, despite the climax being a little drawn out, director Lee Wannell will keep you guessing and jumping until the very end. I'm giving The Invisible Man three and a half out of five ticket stubs. If you like my review today, click subscribe on my YouTube channel. I have new reviews of movies like Downhill. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Paul's Movie Trip. And then go to my website, paulstriptothemovies.com for even more reviews. Thank you so much for watching my review of The Invisible Man. This is Paul's Trip to the Movies.